Hello, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. Welcome to another LP Advent Calendar LP. This game is called Seppu Cuties. Let's play. So one day all these forest friends were frolicking around and their forest got deforested. So they're like, let's go to Paradise Meadows. Where do you just get elephants and stuff that, uh, you know, live in a forest? I don't get it. But... Yeah, the basic idea of this is it's a little platformer game. And the idea is to collect as many of these acorns as possible, as well as to get to the next level. With as many of your animal friends as you can. See, you have 30. And, uh, the idea is the more of your animal friends you get to, uh, safety, the better. You want to get to that golden acorn. Now, as you'll see, you'll notice there's a uh, death counter. Here, let me adjust the volume a little for you. You should hear this music; it's really good. But there's a death counter. Why is there a death counter? Hmm, I don't know. Sometimes teamwork is needed to reach the end. The sacrifices have to be made. Well, it's for the greater good, I suppose. One against blocks to push them. As you can see, our little fox friend down there died. How awful. The whole space you skip it, but yeah, this uh this game is a unique if very not nice little platformer. Spikes are out to you. If only you could find something to bridge the unjumpable gaps. Something stepping so like I don't know, my brain is the size of a chestnut. I'm gonna get all these acorns first because uh when you remove these things, it kills your animals. Oh no! So the idea is to make stepping stones with the bodies of your friends. This game is a very gruesome game. Oops. Come on, freaking raccoon, jump. You can do it. Let me see if I can replicate it. Usually I don't lose this many animals on this particular area. Yay! But yeah, seven died. You really want to conserve animals, because if you have too many animals... Oh dear. But yeah, you have too many animals, you're kind of screwed. If you don't have enough animals, you're kind of screwed. There's a way to get those four acorns up there, but I don't feel like getting them. We still have 21 animals. This is a new... And there is a way to conserve this fox, by the way. Yep, see? Oops! It's a very dangerous and treacherous journey as you can see. A lot of animals die. Lava is like glowy water that makes me ow. If you're running low on animals, you can replay earlier levels by the way. That's exactly how you get new animal friends. Now all I gotta do is jump over here. Why is there lava in an ice land? Oops. I messed up. There is a button I'm gonna have to restart this level, I got stuck. Yeah, and all the animal friends that died come back, by the way, if you don't win the level. No, little bunny, you have so much more to live for. See, usually I can conserve it. Oh! Damn it. I like the fox, by the way. With the green eyes. If you're really careful, see what I mean? But yeah, see, if you're really careful, you can get pretty far before the animals die. Except there, I wasn't being very careful at all. Oh, come on, raccoon, you can do it. But yeah, as I was saying, if you're really careful, you can uh, get pretty far. 
I don't know what the timer is for. Usually the timer is for nothing. I can't think of an achievement for this game. Yes, this game has achievements that actually necessitates the timer. And there you go. And we only lost two animals this time. The less animals you lose, really, the better, because, uh... If you're fast, nope. I wrote this manual, you can press shift to perform seppuku. I don't know what that means, but it sounds awesome. Yep, see, you can get out of the way of some of these things if you're careful. Come on, get the air corn line. There is a case where you will need to perform seppuku in this particular, uh... Or level. That is if you get stuck. And what shift does is literally the animal kills themselves, basically. Yeah, you can't get those acorns now, but there you go. But yeah, guys. What what shift does is this. Kills the animal. Restarting the level has no penalty to the player, so if you just get stuck and it's bound to happen at some point, just click restart. Yeah, those kill you. By the way, those, uh, spiky things. That landed a very inopportune point. Hang on a second. Oops. Yeah, you'll be seeing me restart a lot, because this game can get tricky at points. Come on! Why is there... You can push him? I know you can push him without killing yourself. That's new. I have 17 animals left. I may have to go back and get more animals. Yeah, you're too big to fit through this hole, so you have to jump on these uh, treacherous planks. If I can get the planks to hold my weight. Oh, come on. Jump on the damn planks, Fox. Yeah, I like this game. This is a fun game. I love this game. That and I also like killing cute things. Because I have no soul. Yeah, if you're fast enough, I believe you can escape this death trap, too. Nope. <laughs> Did you hear about the elephant who chased a man riding a bicycle? Of course you didn't. Elephants can ride bicycles. It's even funnier when it's actually an elephant saying it. Yeah, this game is really... Really weird. If you run out of animals, completing an earlier level with less deaths will add to your animal arsenal. And actually, uh... You need to have a stepping stone there, so at least one of your animals has to die on this level. Oops. So it helps to have a stepping stone up for later. Yeah, because see, you can't uh, move it. Oops. Oh well. We currently have only 14 animals left. Well, now that whole spike pit is gone. There is a way to get there. I forget how. This one is really not easy. Hang on a second. I mean, I think I may have to perform Sukuko here. Which means now we have a stack of dead animals. Those poor animals have to jump on the bodies of their friends. But, yeah, hang on. Let me restart so I don't have to kill nearly so many. Come on, raccoon. Nope. No, don't hit caps lock. Hit shift. Now, let's hope I made it. No! Damn it. That is not at all what I wanted to do. Stupid animal. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, usually I don't perform seppuku nearly as much in this game! God damn it! Come on, this level is not freaking hard! 
At most, I think you really only need to, to kill like three animals. But yeah, these poor creatures, damn it, have to stand on the bodies of their friends. That's horrible. This game is horrible. Funny as hell, though. There we go. Yeah. Seppuku is actually the Japanese term for belly cutting. It's a polite way of saying, I have dishonored everybody, damn it. Yep, they also say damn it after they do it. Damn it, I've dishonored everybody. Come on, this level ain't hard. Come on, bear. There we go. God damn. This level is not that hard. Yeah, that just makes it easier to jump that way. And you actually have to push this, I believe. Reels! Oh my god! And actually, I have to get more animals, so I will be back in a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now we have a few more animals. So, hopefully we won't have this problem again. Now, you have to sacrifice one of your animals to get that key. So, no matter what, at least one animal needs to die. Actually, I believe I have to go up here. No. I guess I do have to go that way. My bad. Yep. Okay, bunny. It's up to you now. Lead us to the happy land of flowers and rainbows. There's a happy land of flowers and rainbows? Of course not. Now sometimes that brick doesn't like to uh, be straight, so you can push it a little bit more to make it so, but it doesn't always... Oh, shoot. That is not what I wanted to do. Sorry, guys. There, I'm trying to get through with as few animals dead as possible, because you really, really need to if you want to win the game. You need as few animals dead as possible. Let me see. There is a way to get to stand even. Like that. So, now that it's even, we should be good. Come on, bunny. Come on, bunny. Don't die. There we go. Yes. With only one animal killed. Because we rock. At this point, we have 16 animals left. Now, there's a point here where you have to go all Indiana Jones. I want to see if I can get those animals. Never mind. And I did find a way not to do this, not to get killed there, but it's so hard to not die in that level that you literally need, like, a stroke of genius luck to not die. Come on. Oops. There's also a way to get that key without killing your other animal. Sacrifice yourself, elephant. I never liked you anymore, anyway. Let me see if I can figure out how to get that key without dying. Whatever, I'll just kill it anyway. Ugh. No matter what, you have to kill a couple animals. Like, I think here you have to lose at least a minimum of three. At least I always wind up losing a minimum of three. But yeah, you'll see me hitting restart a lot. Yeah, I missed that acorn. I don't care. Let me go back and get my raccoon to stand on it. I'm not even going to try for those missing acorns. I don't care. I'm not going for completes here, guys. There we go. Not bad. Yeah, now we have 13 animals left. This one is really difficult. You have to basically beat this. 
But yeah, you can totally do it without killing any animals. You actually have to. Indiana Jones. Style. Now this is where the game starts getting a little difficult. Oops. Yeah, this is where your animals are going to start dying a lot. Oops. <laughs> I just committed seppuku in midair. Fail. Ugh, there we go. Except now you gotta go back. I like the music here. Very peaceful. For, you know, killing yourself. There we go. And I only got two killed. But the less you get killed in the easier levels, the better. Oh, this one's kind of fun. Oops. We missed a uh, key. Oh well. Fortunately, our new pal, uh, Raccoon here can get that key for us. Like I said, I'm not concerned if Tony and I'll actually die. It's, it's really best here to get as few casualties as humanly possible. Now, there's no way to get back out. I guess there is. I lied. There is a way to get back out, I guess. Let's see if I can get through here without dying too much. I wish we could have, like, more than one animal at once. I think it is possible to get through here without killing yourself. I'm not going to go for those acorns, because that's a death trap. And we all know it is. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah! Not too bad. But yeah, the more animals we can serve, really, the better. For some reason, if you're not careful here, you die. I was say, for a group of great forest friends, we sure are an odd bunch. I mean, what kind of elephant lives in a forest? A cute one, of course. Crush him. I guess my thing is stuck. Weird. That was odd. I've never had that happen before. New world. I hope our new home is nicer than our old one. And has and less chainsawed. These ones I think tend to be a little easier. Those boulders actually help you cross the gap if you're careful. Oh, no, bunny, no, bunny, no! <laughs> that could have been bad right there. Three acorns. Scary woods. Yeah, that'll make it a lot easier for us to get through. Yeah, you have to sacrifice your animal there. But... Yay! Mr. Happy Fluffle Bunny can get through now, yay. Considering we only have, like, a few animals left, that's a good thing. We're almost done with the game, anyway. Yeah. Actually, what we have to do is not go that way. Oh, yeah, we do. Because we have to actually fill this gap with dead animals. Or we uh, get stuck later on, and that's not good. So sometimes it requires thinking ahead. There is an excellent case. For some reason, if you're not careful, uh, this one can accidentally squish you. I don't know why, but oversight on the developer's part? These animals are basically ludicrous jibs incarnate, so I wouldn't be surprised. We're just about finished here. Oops. No, don't die, Fox. Come on.
on. Yeah. Right here is pretty much a death trap. So a lot of your animals are going to die. I think we have like an animal left. Yeah, we have no more animals left. Hang on, I'm gonna go get more animals. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a few more animals. Not very many, but I can try. Okay, not too bad. No! Oops. Well, that one we have to kill. We have to kill an animal there anyway. Well, I have to have to go and get that pink key first. But we are almost done with the game, guys. Oh, that was close. Thank God there was an animal there. Huh. Yeah, you can get those chestnuts up there, but I'm not even gonna bother. Acorns, not chestnuts. And we have a few more animals left. We should be fine. Oops. Have to restart this. I'm gonna let that. Oops. What? I didn't press shift! That'll get rid of it. Uh. Fail. Hang on a second. Maybe I spook you there. It'll help. We only have three animals left. Oh, boo hoo. Oh, very sad. Oh, well. I don't care about cute animals anyway. This is actually the last level of the game. There we go. We got out with like three animals. Here's Paradise Meadows. This one is hard. I'm not gonna lie, this one is very difficult. It's possible to reach here only using five lives, by the way. Oops. Come on, I can't have any of my animals die. <sighs> this level is really hard, by the way. Just so you know. Really hard. If you let them swing down a little bit, it helps. <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah, this level is really hard. Once you get past the top here, it's not so bad. I really wish I had more animals. I really fucking wish I had more animals. At this point you're, point, you're bound to have like five animals left and that's it. Literally like five animals. Come on game, this level isn't hard. I can do it. back when I have more damn animals. There we go, now we have 12 animals. That should be a little bit less uh, problematic now that we have 12 animals instead of just one. Oops. Oh well. But now we have a lot more chances to waste instead of just like six. For example. Oh really? Come on! <laughs> Animal slaughter! That is totally not what I wanted to do. I apologize, guys. I'm gonna wait for these swings to swing down a bit. And yeah, it's totally possible to get here while only losing five lives, and you know what? I'm not crazy enough to try that. So, 
Good luck, though, to anybody who is. It's actually very difficult. Oops. Well, I don't like the dumb bear anyway. Come on, elephant. You can do it. Yeah, the bottom part is ridiculously easy compared to the top. Oh, I got a new paw print. That's an achievement, by the way. See that the Paradise Meadows? Guess what? It's a shopping mall. That's a horrible end. Oh, well. But, there you go. That is your game. That is Sepple Cuties. It's a very fun, if challenging game. I completely suggest that you try it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you guys should play it. It's on Congregate, it's on Armor Games, it's on pretty much every gaming site out there. And it's extremely sad, but, well, that's, uh, that's Sepple Cuties for you. Oh, but that's all at least six friends left. Nice. So, that is, uh, Sepple Cuties. And I'm not gonna go for all the achievements, because I'm not insane. But, uh, I highly suggest you check it out. It's a lot of fun. Next time, we're gonna play something, hopefully, that is just as cute, but not nearly so distressing. But, until then, this is the Phantom Save Begin signing off, saying goodbye, and please, think of the animals.